Did you know? We have published an eTabs course with a complete 20 story building design. The course will include complete guide to eTabs, from basics to advanced level with a completion certificate. Check link in description of this video. In this lecture, we will learn how to pass the strong column weak beam check. It is requirement of the high seismic zone that when we are going with the special moment resisting frame, then we have to pass the strong column weak beam check when designing a high seismic zone structure or a moment resisting frame in the high seismic zone, which is also known as special moment resisting frame. So I'll be just assuming a very simple structure. Let's keep the number of stories one or make it two. Spacing of bridge is 20. Let's define the section properties for the frames. Assuming the material is already defined as 4 KSI, which ETAPS has already defined in the default properties. Now I'll be adding a new concrete section. Let's start with the section of beam. Let's take the beam as 12 inches by 24 inch or 13 inches is okay. Going to reinforcement and making it beam. The covers are already okay. Go to property modifier, set them according to ACI code that is 0 0.35 and 0 0.35 for bending. And click on OK. Similarly, I'll be adding the column sections. Let's start with the column section of C18 by 18. Property modifiers utilizing the American code as 0 0.7. That is OK. Similarly, a column size of Slab sections. And the property modifiers utilizing ACI code.
I'm using zone 2B as per UBC 97. According to UBC 97, strength reduction factor for SMRF is 8.5 and for concrete moment frame CT is 0 0.3. Similarly for Y direction. Now defining the mass source for seismic base shear. I've added the dead loads and click on OK. Now assign the shell loads. I'm selecting I have selected the roof, so I'll be assigning 20 PSF of the live load to roof and 40 PSF to the floor. Now let's start design of the structure but first we need to select the concrete frame and go to design concrete frame view device overrides and it is sway special and oh okay now go to design concrete code this is aci 3 14 let's generate the load combinations and assign the diaphragm to the structure for distribution of the lateral loads. Since it's concrete, so I'll be assigning a rigid diaphragm as I don't want to consider the in-plane bending. First, we have to save the model. Let's design this structure. So the beams and columns are all passing. But importantly, since we are utilizing special moment resisting frame, so an important check is that we have to pass the strong column weak beam check. Let's check. We go to 6 by 5 column beam capacity ratios. So you see the over stress symbol written here that the column is failing in a strong column weak beam check. The column's flexure strength is less than the sum of beam flexure strength at a joint by 1.2 times. As per ASC 7 10 and ACI code definition. So, the columns that are overstressing, we have to pass them. Let's turn off visibility of the beams. So, mostly the edge columns or the top story columns are all failing. Let's also see the percentage of steel ETABS is assigning it by the design, and it also affects the strong column weak beam check. Let's see the rebar percentage. So the rebar percentage assigned by ETABS to the column design is 1%. What if we use a 2% of the reinforcement and again check this to pass the strong column weak beam check without changing the column sizes as we have assigned it right now. Column size is 18 inches by 18 inches. So I'll try to increase the reinforcement from 1% to 2% and see if the same size of the column works to pass the strong column weak beam check. So I'll unlock the model.
and go to define since it's an 18 by 18 cross section so i'll calculate the percentage of the steel I need to provide at least 6.48 inches square of the steel. Let's say if I intend to use number 8 bars. So it's an odd number. So let's try utilizing number 7 bars. Still an odd number. So I'll be going with uh, 8 number 8 bars as I divided the total area with number 8 bar area I get at least 8.25 bars but let's provide a percentage slightly lower than 2% go with 8 bars 8 bars of number 8 so I'll be going with 8 bars of number 8. You can see the layout here we are getting 6 and 2 8 bars in total you can also rename this as 2 and now since you have provided the steel to e tabs you have to click on reinforcement to be checked and then ok now since we have assigned this section already and override it from the properties so we don't need to assign it again and click on run and then click on design now let's check the strong column weak beam check so you see most of the columns has passed the check when we overwrite the percentage now I'll be selecting the columns that have passed the check and turning off their visibility so I can only work with the columns that are failing now wherever I see written OS it means the column is failing in strong column weak beam check turn off the visibility these two are also passing as I can see a ratio other than OS so now the interior columns are failing I can also explain the reason and the reason is if you see this joint there are four beams coming at this joint if I turn on the visibility of the beams you can see there are four beams coming at this joint and there is only one column so on the left side of the equation if you keep the capacity of the column and on the right side of the equation you keep the capacity of the beams at this joint there are four beams and there is only one column so it's obvious that the column will fail so you have to revise the cross section of the column from 18 inches by 18 inches to a bigger section let's assign it as 24 inches by 24 inches But since we are revising the size at the top, we need to assign the section at the bottom as well as it would be very unlikely that a person would like to go or a structure engineer would like to go at 24 inches by 24 inches column over a smaller column of 18 inches by 18 inches. So I'll assign the section of 24 inch by 24 inch to all of them. And now remember that I have not overwritten the percentage of 2% in these columns. I am just checking whether it will work. And in the later part, if it doesn't, we have to increase the steel. Let's design them. And check the strong column weak beam ratio. Yes, so the columns are working at even 1% of the steel 
So revising the size of the columns worked. That is how we pass the strong column weak beam check for special moment resisting frames.